Yes. This, the Deltans, Nigerians, the world, was not just this morning. I was talking about the need why the government should make provision for the people to eat. That is not easy for one to stay in a place without food for too long. Because, it's, because the politicians, the Mokowa, the governor of that state, under the PDP party, they already have food stored in their houses. They have drinks, everything. They now expect the people to comply to stay at home. They not make food available. That those who have food to sell within the area, they already inflated their prices because the, the, the demand is higher than the supply that they have. Now, someone has been killed. Someone has been shot dead, shot twice. Because he went out to go and get, because he was going to go to get food for his family. Just between the distance between, let's say, 5 to 10, 10 kilometers, Ubeji to Obuangwe, the soldier sh chased him. The soldier that was on checkpoint, they stopped him to ask him definitely where he's coming from, which we expect every responsible person to do. So it was, as on the way stopping, I was about to stop, they released the fire at him through the door that pierced his waist. Then the guy was going to like try to be smart, like ah, this guy is going to kill us. They were, they, I think there were two of two, two of his friends with him, so he had to start running with the car. Like he drove out, drove out, and the soldier man stopped a vehicle that was coming from that side and used that vehicle to chase after this guy. They shot his tires and he ran into a Varenka Varenka school or street at, on, on the Boangwe. Where he had to stop and call. He was running on the empty wheel and he came down to run for his dear life, and they shot him in a close range. Then he died. Look, this one will not end like Ogbe Onokwite that was killed in the time of Udwana's government. That if the Ulu of Wari, whose subject has been murdered in Inno's territory in Ubuangwe, and the NYC, the Shekiro Youth Council, under the leadership of Comrade Agbas, uh, uh, Agbas, did not act on this, including the government not doing anything about this, Buhari not doing anything about this, then I will be compelled, on behalf of my family, the Pemu's family, to join the Pesu family, and we'll go into war with the government. Even though if we're going to die, let, every, let, let us die, because we don't even know who's going to die next. Because if this stay at home continue for the next two weeks, and the government not provide food for the people, not give them electricity, the people will be compelled to come out, for we will rather die by the, the bullet killed by the governor, the president, or whoever that is going to give that law than being killed by starvation in our houses because we do not have food to eat. Enough is enough. May God punish you all that is behind this evil against our society. Those of you that has refused to develop our place for over the years and now you are pretending as if you are working tirelessly. Don't worry. This is only God that will judge you all. Once we must all understand, we, the Ottoman youths, Nigerian youths, we must all remember that if we continue to be afraid of this death, that we do not want to demand for our justice, for the interest of the children we're going to be leaving behind, our wives, our mothers, our sisters, that will be leaving behind for these beasts of no training that they have in the, within the military, within the police force, the navy force, the, and the political structure that we have today. We will still all die someday, and our children will be the ones that will suffer more. Be afraid to die. Life is sweet in you. You have so much money. But remember, the money no longer, no longer even have a value in the society. Fight. Rise up. Enough is enough. If they should kill you for what is your right, die for it. Because you will still die anyway. It is better for you to die for your right than dying on top of a woman. It is better for you to die for your right than dying looking for money. Fight for your rights, if not for yourself. For your interests of your children, children, children. If you want to really rest in peace. God is angry already. Enough is enough. This boy has just been killed. Not in a crisis period where people were using guns then. In a case like this, that this is a time where the government is expected to show mercy, not even mercy, show passion for the services. The Canadians, the Americans, the British people, over Rwanda, they did not ask, they did not get to this level. They did not even demand before the government used their brain, the politicians. The politicians behind the government use their brain to just give them that comfort. Say, don't worry, stay home. 
everything, including fruits, everything. Not this kind of chuchu naira indomie where they would they share including for Lagos State where they put, put uh, food, small food for into small food. Don't know person small picky chop. Then they pack and give, give out to some some people, not even every Lagosian. Then they want to claim because they, they money where they don't donate. It's more than enough to feed this country. The government, the politician behind the government knows that the government have a responsibility on their own. That if they can be, if they can collect loan for nonsense things, including buying 2020 Camry that they can no longer drive, they should know that in, when it comes to health, when it comes to security, when it comes to electricity, including every, anything that will make life comfortable for the people, it is the responsibility of the government. And it is the politician, not just the government, the politician. Those are our ass of reps. Those are our senators. Like the James Manager. James Manager will represent a data, data South. The, uh, Rio, Thomas Rio to me, they represent Wari Federal Constituency, they never do anything for the people. And all the other senators, those ones they use, they, they, go, they go tee people 100 million, they go carry 5 million of country, do something for them, they go they eat them, like all the uh, Friday or Sanubi, where they say they go, they, they make una take una time, because God go punish you now. For this crime against man, God go punish you now. See, I'm, one cool city, Okowa, make a tell me the year. If you don't not make sure justice, you don't call justice. First of all, you start to feed every first, first of all, you must take food so everybody house door to door. Nobody's going to come out if you don't want it. You must take food for everybody house door to door. Good food, like the one with the shop in your house. You must take that food to them. That you must take that food. Then I want. You must ensure see they get electricity. Even if Nigeria will give them petroleum, they put for that generator. You must give them lights. Then that soldier when he do when he kill this boy, so they go kill him. They go kill him. Now what you go feel solve this problem because now justice this is not going to end like a burn up with your own. With the king, we no justice. And other person they don't kill too. This one, this time we need justice for Nigeria. No, every police brutality, we need justice. Justice now. Enough is enough. Not because what those human rights they do when they just cut and small, small. Total package. Full total package. Every Nigerian youth should be protected, should be respected. Oh, Barry, this one for your own message. Every Nigerian youth should be respected by the politicians behind the government. If not, you know, we'll kill, we now we'll kill all of us people who don't stay here. I don't talk about finish. We got punished now. 